Sup guys, welcome back to Replay Thursday, episode 13 with game 2 here. We have Radzio1122 on Reddit submitting this replay. He says, I des, I'm a diamond level toss. What do you think about this build? I had a lot of success with it. So it's a PvP build, by the way. Uh, I had a lot of success with it. I usually go for Oracle first from Stargate, but this game, I saw him pushing, so I went for Voids. Diamond, 3 Soccers, Mama Poke, <laughs> into DT. Then Stargate. I some die, sometimes die to earlier DTs if my micro slip up, slips. Um, Diamond three stalkers, Mama poke. Also, I'm not sure if he's the one doing three stalker Mama poke <laughs> into DT and then Stargate, and he's dying to that. I'm not. I sometimes die to earlier DTs if my macro slips up. Alright, so I mean, we'll take it as we go. I'm a big fan of double gas before core, but if you're going to make three stalker poke, uh, it's understandable. I'd rather you do double gas and have 2-2 two, two on each gas than grab a late gas uh, like this. Alright, so you scout, you see Zealot, you see four chrono on Nexus, so if you're going to... Well, okay, so I like what you do. I actually do that versus people that do 4 Chrono on Nexus. I do the 2 gate. What I try to do is I try to put the 2nd gate like back at the back of my base. So like even if he's scouting he might not see it. Um, and I I don't do 3-3. Three, three, I do 2-2. Two, two, and uh, to have 16. And then after the Mothership Core I'll be filling uh, up my gases uh, by, with extra probes. And I'll Chrono the 2 Stalkers. So, uh, yeah, okay, so, okay, so, so far I like your build. I like your build. I don't know what he said that was lucky, but, uh, so far I really like your build. So this guy, uh, went three gate. So I don't know, like, I feel like <laughs> you, you, you talked a lot about what you do, but not so much about this game. So I don't know, like, if you win this game and you're just asking me what I think, uh, I wish you would have picked a loss so I can, like, help you more. Um, I actually, I do this build, but I do, like, a, I commit to a 3 gate. Um, I mean, the, the, the micro, the micro could have been better, so, like, you should have used time warped. Uh, but then again, like, you're not fully committing, uh, because you should, though. You should, like, your gates finish in time, like, you can make a few reinforcing stalkers. So, uh, and you cut a lot of probes. Um... So, I, I mean, like, like you're asking me what I think about the build, and the build itself is okay. I, I just think it could be better. So, like, if you commit to the push, uh, make, like, two more stalkers, right? Like, have, a, have like, a pan on here, make two more stalkers while you push or something. Or, instead of getting warp gate quickly, make two stalkers out of your two gates. So, like, chrono, like, stalker number two, three, and four, five. Uh, so you can apply longer pressure, uh, I think would be better. Um, maybe you'll have like s slightly uh, later DT, but uh, yeah. So you get it, yeah, you, I mean you're paranoid, like you, okay, so now you're doing damage with the DTs. But uh, like the, the thing is like, let's go back a little bit. So like while you were pressuring, you need to click on his buildings. Like you need to know what tech he's doing. I mean, if he's doing robo, uh, yeah, like more than one DT is kind of an overkill, really. Um, but if uh, if he's doing robo, like don't be scared of like uh, Stargate. So like you should have killed that probe, and you should have looked for uh, you should have looked for a panon, even though there wasn't any panon. Um, and really, like, instead of running like this, try to snipe the gases. And, like, you see, like, you, it was, like, on shift command, but you could have killed, like, a few. Like, uh, yeah, better, better DT micro. I mean, it's not hotkeyed, so, like, of course, the micro is never going to be uh, optimized or as good as it could be. Um, but I like, I like the, uh, like, when I do DT, I do DT into Stargate. So I like that you're doing Stargate. So, but, like I said, like, the, the early beginning of your, of your... I mean, it's a 3-gate, it, it looks like a 3-gate push, but it ends up being a 2-gate push. So maybe it'll make a lot of sentries. Um, so yeah, I mean, if it, if it keeps working, do it. If it, if it stops working, then try the version I was talking about, which is Chrono 4 and 5th Stalker. 
And uh, yeah, I might actually s try your build because it sends the wrong message. Like the thing about <clears throat> you being diamond is like a lot of people like they're they're pretty clue. Uh, they're uh, they don't know they don't they don't have like the mind games don't work as much because they they don't they don't like yeah they don't think outside the box or they don't think like oh he's doing this uh, so much. So, but yeah, yeah, it's a nice build for a diamond player. Like that's really nice that you thought about that. Now, um, like you have like no vision. Like leave a probe over here if there's no tower, you know. So you see him come, and here, and here the problem is the problem is um, you don't know if he has an expand, and you keep making probes. Now try to confirm if he has an expand. If he doesn't have an expand, cut at eight probes, so thirty. Because otherwise, like, you're going to struggle to beat an all-in. And, like, I don't even understand why you would be in your main. Like, because the thing is, like, you got a, a nice lead from the DTs. And you saw, like, a lot of cannons. So, like, you know he's not... He's going to have, like, about the same army as you. And that's the truth, you know? So, uh, all disappointed that... you Like, if he would have... For instead of Guardian Shield, he would have force field your ground army and focused your Void Rays and then pull out and then come back with more. Like, you're down two Void Rays. You're down two Void Rays and you don't have a Photon Overcharge for the second attack. Like, this guy obviously is Diamond, but, like, if you want to take your, your game to the next level, like, uh, being in the main would have killed you versus me because, I like, to me, like, okay, force field the ramp, try to snipe the sentries, move out a Photon Overcharge, come back with more, look at their army value. Uh, it's about even, but if you're up your ramp, you know, then you come down your ramp, and uh, once you come down your ramp after Photon of Recharge runs out, it's a matter of micro, I mean, uh, you would have had like <clears throat> two Void Rays, it would have been really hard for him to beat you. So you probably would have won. Uh, I don't know, like, you let one of his probe live, but he didn't make a proxy pylon. But yeah, good good for you, it's a nice build. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of uh, success <clears throat> as you keep going. But PvP is really technical, so you gotta think on your feet, confirm a third or not. Maybe with Allicination, well you didn't have a sentry, but maybe with Allicination, maybe you would just make a Zalot, so side it, no expand, cut probes, stay down your ramp. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, thank you Radzio for submitting this replay, I'm actually very impressed of your diamond level play. Uh, guys, it was game 2, we'll be back with game 3 in just a bit.